it going, guys? Uh, long time no talk. I, I can assure you that uh, I've been a little busy. For those that are not paying attention to everybody else's channel, um, especially Mr. Deland, you know, uh, used car uh, lot there in Deland, uh, mechanic shop. Hey, but, you know, I, 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 I'm dressed today. I'm dressed in my clothes. I, I'm not dressing to dress like somebody else or act like somebody else um, because I, I wear for me. But um, for those that are just now catching up a little bit, um, of course, as you probably know, because uh, there's a few different posts out there, we had court today. Uh, of course, those that know what's going on or, and are actually paying attention. Um, unfortunately, sadly, Metro State is being dissolved and I am selling it slowly off. Um, which is okay. Um, need the money for other ventures that will be coming soon. Um, and for those that are confused and continue to talk as if they know what's going on, I really love you know people that dress like me and spend a, a ridiculous amount of money to um, buy helmets and and, um, and probably never rode a motorcycle in their life and uh, buy stickers to be made to dress like me um, and live in, you know, unfortunately, sadly, one of my stalkers that are have real serious, I guess, maybe sexual desires for my body um, live in Deland, and that's only, you know, about an hour, hour and a half from me. Um, although he's never stopped by the house and, you know, came to say hi, um, like, you know, a real man would, you know, he'll continue to poke, poke the bear, poke the bear, as Sergeant Miller would say, poke the bear, uh, from a distance, but it's whatever. Hey, I'm free today. Um, and right now, currently, uh, while he's driving around in his car, in his town of Deland, adding sirens and yelling at cars from inside his car, um, I right now, instead of wasting my time driving around and acting like I'm doing an escort. I'm currently driving right now to one of the best Arab restaurants in Orlando and uh, smoke some hookah. Um, not really to celebrate per se, but to, you know, relax from the day. Day was already very short, but very stressful. Uh, I will say that there is a lot of things that are going on. Um, a lot of negotiations that are being done uh, certain people in the state uh, not only judges but also prosecutors are working diligently with my attorney um, for those that don't know who my attorney is Amir Ladan Amir is a lawyer's lawyer um, when he gets dressed in the morning and puts a suit on it's like a suit of armor um, and he is a lawyer that every other lawyer should inspire to possibly be or mimic um, over time. Um, anyhow, uh, Amir Ladan is is vital to my survival. Um, that being said, uh, touching on some other bases, uh, granted, unfortunately, I was down and out for a couple of months in the in the beautiful hotel. Um, wanted to let you know, a lot of the staff members there, very supportive, very strong, very protective. Um, in fact, uh, I had a few of them tell me how they're little motors and um, they hope that everything works out for me. Uh, in fact, my morning uh, going to court, uh, the morning that they released me, um, four of them got around me and they went to a separate channel on their radios and uh, they had dispatch, it, it, you know, it was like five in the morning, so uh, being moved to the court system, but uh, four of them surrounded me and they went to a different channel and they had their dispatch call over the radio that uh, Motor One was moving and um, they hoped that the proper justice or 
not per se justice, but the, the proper help would be delivered to me that day. Um, it was very, very touching and moving. Um, for those officers that know who they are, especially the two nice ladies in the COVID dorm, um, and uh, a very young man that uh, him and the uh, other female that worked together um, in the other COVID lockdown section, you know who you are. Um, you guys are extremely professional, even knowing who I am. And uh, Corporal, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, you guys, with the whole thing with the moving me through the court, the, uh, the the facility, doing the whole motor ones moving thing, I wanted to tell you thank you from that day. So there's obviously. For those that aren't figuring it out yet, more to the story than what's just being pubbed out there by other YouTube channels that don't even have any information other than some public records requests, um, not even a clue what they're talking about. I did love how some dumb fuck bullshit idiot posted that I actually called him. I had the nerve to call him listen I don't know about y'all I know I'm making a video right now while I'm driving again to said restaurant to do hookah but even though I'm dealing with all the cases and stuff I don't have a fuck time to give to anyone let alone some fucking low life lying about me calling him my wife calling him my side chick calling him who the fuck would even waste their time? I literally just listed three things that would not even give me the time to waste on somebody that's gonna then supposedly badmouth me and put me on the supposed internet. And I love this chick, if it is a chick, I mean, she's using a, a chick logo that loves to make singing videos out of every picture. You guys are just killing it. I can't tell you how much publicity you're giving me. Um, one day, when I can explain a little bit, I will give some more information because some of the things that are happening, you would think that they were done improper, but maybe there was foresight into what was happening and there was decisions that I've made to get the attention that I needed and the publicity that I needed to root out the problems that were being hidden behind closed doors. And maybe one day you'll see that. While I was in custody for the two months, uh, I received over, I think it was like 70 letters telling me how, you know, they support me and, and they really wish that they could help. Um, I did receive some money, um, got my canteen up pretty high. I really appreciate that to those that did. I appreciate my fans, my little motors. Um, trust me, my little motors. Trust me. Metro State is being dissolved, but I'm not being dissolved. And one day, the little motors will be able to joy in something else. Um, so, I'm not gone. And I appreciate the money, the support, the letters. I only had one douchebag from Miami. The same guy that sent a bunch of letters to my house. Fucking piece of shit. Fuck boy. What a waste of life. Sorry, I haven't been able to talk shit in a while. Been ranting for a little bit. Lots of shit to talk. Because, again, I will be going to jail. And that's okay. Um, I need a vacation. It's a nice workout plan. Get back into shape that I used to be since apparently my mammary glands have some kind of disease or, or something of that nature to where my chest is bigger than the rest of my body but I guess losers that don't ever work out don't really understand how that works for those that don't know since my motorcycle accident in 2014 when I was in a coma and, and unfortunately they actually did flatline me uh, or I flatlined and they brought me back um, since my accident in 2014 I haven't been to a gym one single time 
since. I, I've been kind of dropping the ball, getting a little old, a little gray in the hair, uh, you know, and especially the last couple of years, three years almost now, been dealing with this. Uh, it is interesting that come September, we're going to have an anniversary date of how long this has been going on. And um, for those that don't know, September 3rd, there's court dates coming up and we're working on certain things and hopefully certain things will work out. You know, while I was in Osceola County, yes, I did take a deal. But when I took that deal in Osceola, um, the state was very kind and she's worked very hard with Mr. Ladan to uh, facilitate um, my 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 case um, and the state dropped two more charges that they were currently looking into um, as well as the home phone one they dropped that as well so they had two that were pending they dropped those didn't even file and then they had the one that was the uh, home phone unfortunately you know I let life get a little out of control too fast and I asked for the bundle deal and I didn't realize that included a home phone um, and I guess because I never ever made a phone call from it ever and probably the way they got information from that might not have been the proper way I, I don't know the situation I, I do know that um, I those charges were dropped um, and because of that we were able to come to a, an agreement um, and since it's all over the internet already and posted uh, you guys know what it is and you know again I need some time away I have to pay my penance I did do certain things needed to do certain things to get where we are today where you are listening to me today um, and maybe showing more of the truth of what's happening because currently for those that are still paying attention, I know I keep saying that. I'm sure one of you dumb fucks will waste their time and post that. Um, Vittler's still not on the road. So maybe something's going on that not everybody is aware of. Or maybe you guys forgot about that part. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, when Ramsey was at the courthouse the other day to try to... Um, Corporal Ramsey got to give him his due diligence he is a corporal um corporal ramsey um for those that want to then make a song sergeant corporal all that dumb fuck shit that you, i i love how much time you guys have to waste i cannot fathom how you have so much fucking time to waste but i, I guess because of my cases my wife my extracurricular activities and most of all, my beautiful daughter, I, I'm very busy, so I, I don't have time to just sit around and make videos. Um, but anyways, as you see, we're parked now. We're, I'm at the, the Cafe 34. Shout out for you. Um, I'm sure that the rest of you fucks will call him and say, don't serve food to him. He's a sex offender. Oh, and he's stolen valor. We don't have proof of that. But we're going to just say Stolen Valor because some fucking old fuck that has no security clearance says he's a retired Master Sergeant. Hey, I love YouTube. YouTube, you can be whoever you want to be. You can be whoever you are. You can tell whatever story you want. I mean, there's people that make millions off of just going grocery shopping and eating food and acting as if they have the clearance to tell you about somebody else but I don't know other than that like I said I'm at the restaurant Ramsey came to court Corporal Ramsey came to court and was trying very very hard using video may I add from other counties not even from Orange County uh, that supposedly were me but I'm sure you guys will post about how, oh, it's not my camera, it's not my video, all that stuff again. So, you know, but he also confirmed that he's still under investigation by internal affairs. However, he's on the road. A lot has changed 
it's only been three months and a lot has changed uh, this is picking up speed however those that don't know COVID is attacking pretty hard again and things might change where the courthouses are locked down again I, I don't know um, but there is a lot of change in the last three months and this could be resolved pretty soon and or delayed for a while um, right now I'm beyond grateful for the extra freedoms that I have right now um, the extra times that I have right now you know what I just realized um, for those that are a little confused yes I am going to have lunch but I am going to do a business deal this is a lunch see business people when they sell a business um, they have to do these things called business meetings and business meetings aren't normally held at McDonald's Amir is a key for those that don't know he was just actually featured in a in a very very uh, large publication magazine for lawyers um, and uh, listed as one of the best lawyers in Florida um, I wish that people understood the uh, the gratefulness that I have for him. But anyways, with that said, going to wrap it up. I'm sure we'll have another meeting or two of mines here and we'll talk some more shit. Um, I hope you like my suit. It is Armani for those that want to talk shit about me. Um, and I got another pair of Oakley's, just in, these new ones here. See? Nice new. Um, but it is an Armani suit for those that don't know what Armani is. You can, you can Google it, my little keyboard warriors. I miss you guys. Fuck, I miss you guys. I miss talking to you. I fucking miss talking to you. I miss my fans. I fucking miss you guys. And my funeral homes that were watching are my fans. I know you're there. And the only way I can survive this gauntlet of lies and maze of deceit and bullshit is to step down for now. I have extremely big plans coming up and um, the money will be needed for that. Speaking of lots of eBay fans, you fucking guys are cool as fuck too. Not only are you cool as fuck, but you're paying for things and asking me to sign. You know how many helmets I've signed? How many holsters I've signed? And they're paying extra for it? You guys are awesome. I can't tell you. I've sold more than you would actually guess. Um, I, I know I could happily figure some things out with other businesses and big things coming soon. I, I promise you um, big things will come. Maybe not on motors. Maybe not in cars. But there will be things coming. I can assure you of that. Already in the process of figuring some licenses out and things of that nature. You know, Uncle Jay is not going anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. And again, all the publicity you've given me has only helped. Um, I mean, I've I'm selling my business on eBay. <laughs> it's, it's amazing the amount of time you people have. I appreciate that. I'm gonna go dress up like myself a little bit and, and go have this nice hookah. I'll probably get some video of me hookahing along with the, the, personally not the business meeting. I don't need you guys knowing what I'm doing, but uh, maybe show you some of the food and go from there. Talk to you guys soon. Motor One's rolling and still is. Talk to you guys soon. Speaking about Windermere, crazy. One of the other body cameras that weren't working was from the officer. You guys are talking shit about me. Supposedly, I'm in the intersections yelling at people during escorts to keep the family safe. I love that. But then one of my arresting officers is now been charged as a terrorist, committing terrorism or treason against the United States Capitol buildings. I'm confused. We go from I'm a criminal to one of the officers that's arrested me is actually being arrested for breaking into the Capitol building while 
having law enforcement attack and then defending and fighting law enforcement and and resisting law enforcement um, I'm a little confused about all of that truly confused but hey what do I know right 